My name is Piriti Kagendo Makao, the Business Development and Marketing Manager at Dekio Plantations Limited. Um, Dekio Koma Estate uh, is along Kangundo Road. It's off the Kangundo Road, 3.5 kilometer. And uh, it's a project uh, totaling like 100 acres of land. And we've subdivided the plots on an eighth acre. And um, it's one of the projects that we came up with after getting demand from this uh, up market project we have, the Dekio Bustani, we looked at people who really wanted such kind of a project but they could not afford. So what we did is that we came up with a project that we felt the middle income customer can come and buy and build. And uh, there's so much that is happening within that project because we have started the infrastructure development to ensure that the people who are coming to buy, they can still build as soon as possible. And what I'm loving about the project is that the access road from the Kanguda road is already done. So the accessibility and the proximity to the key public utilities that one would want to access are very clear. And uh, I'm looking at that coma becoming a gold mine, especially to the people who are investing now. And the reason I'm saying this is because of the Kangundo Rodeo carriageway that is coming. So having that kind of a, a, a carriage within that area is going to attract as many investors as possible. So when the investors get to know such a place, they come and invest there. Then in return, what happens? The land value goes up. So the return on investment is 100% assured. This project is, is targeting broadly because it's also targeting people that are in the diaspora who really want a company they can trust, they can buy even when they are away from, when they are out of Kenya. So we are looking at to reaching them and also asking them to enjoy the offer when it lasts. Because this offer, it's not going to be static, it's going to end in that 1st of September. So we're also attracting the diaspora customers to come and invest in it. At the same time, we also attracted the Nairobians. And uh, I would say the accessibility to the place is going to be easy having now the road networks now around that area. So it's a place whereby you can give yourself 45 minutes from there to the CBD. And what I'm loving about it is also those people working in Machakos can still enjoy it because there's that uh, road that goes to Machakos town. You can easily live in Machakos, you can easily live in Koma and work in Machakos. At the same time, you can live in Koma and work in this Nairobi CBD. So there's a bit of connectivity that is so clear and well defined. We have promised our customers that we'll bring water on site, promise electricity, the road access to Maram level, and also we are promised to have the social amenities. That is the police post, the commercial center, the school, the dispensary within the project. So those are the key things that we are looking up to deliver to make it a community. But what is happening currently is that we have started working on the roads infrastructure within the project and also then after that is done then we get water on board, we get electricity and we get everybody now doing their business, working as usual and also building their houses. Kanguto Road is, uh, I, I believe it's one of the convenient area that I've seen most of the investors loving because it is a metropolitan, it is in metropolitan county in uh, Machakos. I don't know why people think Machakos is metropolitan because I feel like you tell somebody go this area is like no I'm not settled in that area but you tell them about Machakos they just they just embrace it. So we have gotten this we've got here because of the the demand we are getting for that area. People feel secure in Machakos county and also looking at the developments that are coming around that area people feel like it's a place that is growing. Development in infrastructure, development in business, development in uh, in other sectors so it's an area that people have really comfortable invest in. Customers have always believed in Dekio. And believe me, we had another project there, Kantafu. It closed down just last year. And the demand came up. We need another project, just like you did in Kantafu. So the demand from the customers is one that is pushing us to go their way. Why? Because they feel like uh, they delivered in Kantafu. Like you go in Kantafu project now, you find people are living there and uh, the roads have been done inside this water and all that. So they feel Deku is going to replicate the same in this project. And also our, our main project, the Bustani. People look at Bustani and they are like, if Deku is coming up with a project, I'm so sure they will deliver on all that they are promised. Our key word here is that we deliver on what we promise. That's why I've talked about the concept of uh, 3.5 million. And we are telling customers is that uh, with this package you can get 
home, you can get your house done and all that. And we are looking at the, the drive that is there and the interest that is there on people getting homes and people even moving from their, from their rentals to, to the, uh, getting their home ownership. And we are like, we really need to support these people that they can get their homes that they can, they can live in. Contour development means the, these defined guidelines. Defined guidelines, I mean, like our project, we have the commercial area and then we have the residential. And having that meaning that if you buy a plot on a residential area, you cannot do a flat there because you'll be compromising with my interest. Because I bought because I need a one unit dwelling for my house. And then now you come by next to me and you decide to do a flat. So it beats my meaning now for buying a property in that area. Then that's why we have really made a distinction. If you are buying on a residential area, it's going to be purely residential. If you are buying on a commercial, it's purely commercial. So you can do your high rise on the commercial, but somebody who is living in the residential, please do not disturb their comfort. So that's what we mean. Service plus, that's what I was talking about now. We give water, electricity access roads and ensuring that all that is required for a project to be habitable has been provided. What we are, we are advocating is that for those people that are interested to invest in this property, well the offer last because it's just up to that 1st of September, we are calling on them to register with DECIO. You can come to DECIO and register or you can call us on the numbers below or visit our website for registrations and then we book you now for the site visit on that 1st of August. Uh, I would say apart from trust, I give my respect to the board management and the entire management of DQ and staff. There's a lot of honesty from the top to the least person. There's a lot of harmony in the business, even internally, on how we do our business. You get the professionals that we work with, we get the, the staff that know their job, and uh, our staff endeavor in telling the customer the truth. Because you, you cannot say you are trustworthy if me, purity, I'm not trustworthy. Like whatever I'm telling you, it's real. I need to speak the same voice to another person who comes tomorrow. So our, ta our staff have embraced the honesty and the trust function. And that's why we have been so successful. Why we would encourage, I normally get customers come and tell me, purity, I'm not investing in your plot because you are expensive and I can get another one there that is cheaper. And I always give a, a consultancy advice free of charge. When you buy within a concept, when you buy within a project or a community like we do, we have made some commitment to deliver on some of the amenities or the infrastructure within the project. But believe me, my neighbor there is selling to you a naive acre, but there's no commitment on am I going to get water? No, this power? No. It, is your, it, 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 it becomes your responsibility to ensure that you pull the resources and deliver and also now provide for that is required. But now as we are making a commitment like we will deliver on water, we will deliver on the power, we will deliver on access road. So you are buying into that. That when I'm coming in, I'm just going to pay for the connection fee of water. I'm not going to pay for, to bring the water there or to drill the water and all that. So it becomes cheaper when you buy within a community than when you buy from an individual. Yeah. And especially now on the infrastructure and other bits that are required to make your area full. Again, uh, I've talked about the, the concept of commercial and residential. I cannot limit somebody doing a flat if I bought... I've bought the same area. There are no guidelines for me to build there. I can do what I want to do. If I want to do a slum house, I can do it. I'm not told, don't do this. But when you come to Dekio, we tell you, we have set a limit. You cannot do a house below this standard because we want to feel everybody is in the same level within the same community.